Hey folks, Brooksy. I'm out on my travels first time for about six weeks now. Due to ill health. But uh, we're out today, me and Trev, and we've come to Eastham. Uh, the wind wasn't in our favour to go to Otters, but also we decided to go somewhere where it's going to be sheltered. So we've come to buy the tap in Eastham. See what happens. We've only got a couple of hours fishing, Trev, innit? Yeah, but uh, just to see what's what, see if we can pick some up. If we don't, no great drama. It's just out for an hour, innit, Trev? Yeah. You know, like I said, I haven't been out for the best part of six, seven weeks now. I haven't been right, so it's no good. He is not too bad, it's lovely and comfortable here, Trev, innit? No, it's nice and nice and nice and comfortable. So we wait to see um, what happens. I've gone on lug and crab. Trev's gone on lug and crab, haven't you? Yeah. And Trev's on lug and crab. And we'll see what happens. Uh, also, going to try a squid bait. They'll either take it or they won't. They got two bloody choices. <laughs> Well, like I said, we've only come out to test the water, haven't we, really? That's all it is, isn't it? Get yeah. Out for a bit. I can see somebody's been on the... Somebody's on the slab down there. Yeah, you can see the headstone. Yeah, I can see the head headlamp. I don't know who that is. Might be Hack. Could be Hack. He might be there. Come off a night shift or... Whatever. Oh, excuse me. Early starts to kill us. <laughs> but there you go. Any road there. Uh, I'll leave you for now and we'll see how it goes. And, uh, if we have anything, I'll bring you back in a bit, folks. Hello, folks. Back. Uh, I've had a bite, but nothing material like. Trev had a bite in all, didn't you, Trev? Yeah. But nothing material. I think they were whitey. Just messing about. Um, it's lovely here. It's lovely and calm here. I wouldn't want to be on the other side. <laughs> Because <laughs> it is, it is rather windy, but I'll just show you here. That's how calm it is here. So we're in the dip. See how it's up. We're in the dip. We've come out. We're coming. We've come to give it a bash. We might go up there. Nothing's happened at the moment. So like I said, I've had a bite, Tre and Trev's had a bite. That's about it for now. Uh, it's our first trip of the year, isn't it? That is, yeah. So it doesn't matter whether we catch or not. We were only, we were, we were, what you call it, to two hours today, weren't we? Yeah. And that's it. Once we hit top of the tide, that'll be it. Like, cause you, you've got that hour of slack, but if it's not feeding on flood, or it's not going to feed on slack. I can't see that happening. So we'll give it to live water in any wood, will we, lad? We'll see how we go from there, and uh, what you call it, but we're in, well, look at me, I'm sitting here, I've got to take my hat off, I was sweating, it's that mild by here, isn't it? No, it's not cold. You're getting the odd swirl of wind, but it's mainly going over the other side, isn't it? Yeah, over. We were good, that's where we were going to go to Otter's Pool, weren't we? But yeah. we decided that the wind just wasn't in the right direction. And I mean, it's giving 38 mile an hour winds. I ain't going to stand over there and that. Some young uns will do it. I'm too old for that crap. <laughs> to be honest, like, I am, you know. Excuse the French, but it's true. Can't believe I'm 64 this year. It's striking me. Where's my life gone? <laughs> you know what I mean? But there you go. It's one of them, innit? So... Just to explain to you folks that that's the reason I haven't been coming out is uh, most of you don't know any road off the Jolly Boys that I had COVID double pneumonia two years ago. Uh, I ended up in intensive care. Uh, my chest just not right, is it, Jeff? Um, I can't walk distances like I used to. Uh, but we bought this now, you see. I mean, that little piece of magic there. And it is magic, isn't it, Trev? You know what I mean? 
we fetched all this gear that we've got here all on one trolley, <laughs> haven't we? Yeah. And I mean, pin and carry in is it? All you got to do is pull it on you. It's so easy. It's made life easy for us too, hasn't it? You know what I mean? Because Trev, fair dues to him, he he carries all my gear. He does, like. He won't let me carry it, will you? So he carries all my gear for me, like. Um, the old... Did you have a good knock? Yeah. Just keep your eye on it. Trev's having a good bite there. You've got squid out you, haven't you? Yeah. It's a good cocktail, that fair dues, like. Oh, oh, oh. I'm having a bite there. I'm having a knock now. <laughs> Me rod tapped. But uh, we've got big bits on. We haven't gone with little diddy bits because no. it's... We've decided otherwise it's going to end up a waiting fest. And I'm sorry, I'd rather blank than have a waiting fest. <laughs> I would, honestly. So we've gone big baits and it's shit or bust like. We were having bites, didn't we, Kev? You know, uh, this is a good thing about this place. You can sit here and it's dead. Nothing happening. And all of a sudden, bang, 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 three rods will go off together. You know? one of them any road folks i'll let you go for now and uh, if any of these bites develop i'll bring you back in a bit and be back and i've just had a lovely slack line bite myself <laughs> i missed it it slack line me we knew it was on because you could see me braid coming back towards us couldn't you so it, was, it had picked up and it was swimming towards us you know <laughs> and then I reeled in and it lifted into it and it just pinged off. Oh well. We know they're here. Yeah. Oh, they're definitely here. We know they're here. That was on our crab bait, well, no, wasn't it? Yeah. So, we know they like the crab. So. Talking of which, I'm going to get another one ready. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get another one ready myself in a minute. What I'll do. Is uh, we've just put lug baits straight lug now, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, see what happens if nothing happens, we'll go straight back out on the crab, won't we, Trev? Yeah. Simple as. There's fish out there. Definitely we just can't hit the bloody things, can we? No. But it's one of them. You live and you learn. Fish was definitely picked me bait up, and it was definitely swimming towards us, wasn't it? You could see the braid coming back towards me, couldn't you? Yeah, no. So I wound, wound down and lifted in, felt the fish shake its head, buff gone. Oh well. Won't be the first time that happens, it won't be the last. Simple as. I've been awake since one o'clock and bollocks. <laughs> so uh, it's one of them. What time is it now, Trev? About forty-nine. Yeah, it is. We've got three quarters of an hour. That's our last then. Yeah. I'll leave this. I'll leave this until nine o'clock, and then I'll put a crab bait out there, and that'll be near enough the last bait then. And then we'll just bang all this bait in that cool box for you to take home. Yeah. yeah. It'll be froze for again, won't it, lad? Ready to go. Uh, it's been all right though, hasn't it? It's been a nice morning out. Like, I mean, it rained over there towards New Brighton. And it's throwing it down there. And it's throwing it down over there, isn't it? Yeah. But it's it's not here. No. We're in the middle, in the eye of the storm, I think. <laughs> so we'll have a nice steady run back after Trev, won't we? And then. We'll just chill then. I'm going to go home. I'll have a bit of breakfast and then I'm going to chill. Yeah, the wife's working till three, see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's gone. Um, she's working with a friend, Lindsay. So she's gone in Lindsay's car today. They're both working nine three. So 
I got the house to myself all day. The lads out working. Oh, it's lovely. It is. It's lovely. But there you go. It's one of them. We'll wait and see what happens now. So I'll bring you back in a bit, folks. At the moment, it's all talking, but there's nothing we can do about it. We're trying our best. We just can't bloody hit them, can we? But we will do. If they're here to be caught, we'll catch one. Simple as that, isn't it? Any road, in a bit. You all right, folks? Uh, bring you back just to show you this. Watch yourself, Trev. That big girl there is just wait, gone way past us. Stem Poseidon, it's called. It's massive. Hipped in half, put a bend in our rods when it went past, didn't it? Trev thought he was having a massive bite. He, he thought he was going to lose his rod. Eh? The wake off the boat just pulled the rods like down like that. And then Trev had a hell of a bite after that, didn't you? But uh, I've been having a good bite now, but then it's... Since the boat's gone past, it's gone quiet. One of them. One of them today. We will be coming back. Without a doubt. And... Uh, As soon as this weather settles his ass down, we want to get to Otter's Pool, don't we, Trev? We're definitely going to go and have a bash at Otter's Pool. Eh? That's definitely Trev's having a nice bite there. I know we've had loads of bites, just can't hit them. But I keep thinking, now I know one of them, yeah, the one I dropped, that was definitely a codlin, because I could feel it shaking its head like. And it just spat the hook. Wasn't quite hooked. But uh, a few of these bites telling me it's waiting, you know. The drilling bite in there, rat -tat, tat you know. The codling is just a pull down. You get two or three nods. Nine times out of ten, you get a slack line. And I had the slack line, didn't I? And... Uh, I knew it was it was on. I could feel it. It was shaking his head. Definitely a codlin. I just spat the hook. There you go. Just not me day today, unfortunately. But uh, we've had a good morning, haven't we, Trev? Yeah, still getting bites now. At least we've got out, haven't we? Yeah. You know? You're going to have to have a look at it, aren't you, just in case, you know. It's still there, isn't it? I bet it's, I bet it's a small white in hanging on the photo hook. <laughs> I'll film, film him having a look, just to double check it. Today we must have seen. That's got to be 25 now, hasn't it, Trev? Huh? 25 planes taking off. There he be there. Big girl or not? There you go. You're leaving it there, are you? Sure enough, he gone again. Very weird today, isn't it? These bites have been just not grabbing it, not taking it. I've got a feeling a lot of them. You can see the thing on Otter's pool. Can you see him flashing the lights? It's one of the dustbin carts that is going round. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've got a feeling a lot of this has been white. <laughs> Uh, but we we decided, we did say we wasn't going to go on a two-walk flapper, didn't we? Because we didn't want a white infest, did we? I like, he knows and he's like me. I pref I'd rather blank than catch a white in. It's still there, is it? Mad, isn't it? Definitely white in having to go at the bait. They've had enough of mine. <laughs> but there you go. Any road, folks, I'll let you go. If we don't catch anything, I'll bring you back on the... 
the, the, the shirt down, the clothes down. All right, nothing we can do if there's no fish, but we've showed you an area where we do fish. And now it's light, so it's called Easton. It's a good mark. It can be very good. There's the oil terminal there. Curve it up there, up the top, where you can see that blue thing. Just beyond that, about 200 yards, is Easton Slab. Is there. Keep fishing a bit further down on the slab. Um, just thought I'd come and give it a go. I'm about to coddling on, I just didn't catch it, unfortunately. But that's fishing. If you caught every time you been went out, they call it catching, wouldn't they? It's fishing. You come out, you fish, and you hope to catch. If you catch, you catch. Well, well, that's what it's all about, Trev, isn't it? It's all part of the challenge. Exactly. It, it, well, it wouldn't be called fishing then, would it? It'd be called catching, wouldn't it? Because that's what you'd be doing, wouldn't you, all the time, like? Any road, I'll let you go for now. And uh, I'll bring you back on the shutdown, unless we have a fish. If we have a fish, then I'll, uh, I'll film the... And we'll show you what every what the little shit was that's been biting us all afternoon, all morning. Any road in a bit, folks. Hey, folks, Brooksy, home after the stints at Easton. No fish today, but uh, yeah, it was all right. Plenty of bites, loads of bites. We know what they were. They were waiting. I picked up on a on a codlin, definitely a codlin, codlin, bang bang, slack line. Reeled into it, lifted into it, felt felt the cod shake its head. Felt like a good fish and all. And it just spat the hook. There's not a lot I could do about that one, unfortunately. But there you go, me and Trev went. We only fished the two and a half hours up just to try it, see what it was like at the moment. Like, um, there's plenty of waiting out there. Uh, not many cod. So, but it was one of the only places you could really go in this weather. I mean, that wind was blowing a hooli today, and it was, as you'll see on the video, it was nice and calm. Uh, yeah, so it's only a little short video, this, just to show you what was happening when we were out there, and what happened when I come home. Uh, I've got my earphones stuck around my neck, because I've been doing a bit of editing. But that's about it. Uh, that's all I can say, really, about today's trip. It's been all right, like. Been interesting, you know been interesting it was all right it it's it was one of them it was a spur of the moment thing we just decided to go give it a try uh, yeah we'll be back there definitely it's a nice little spot to fish that is um i know of other fish to catch there and all so we'll go back we'll go and have a go uh hopefully we're gonna have another bash on the mersey shortly uh, hopefully this wind sods off, and if it sods off, we'll go and give Arthurspool or, or Liverpool side the chance, or a couple of spots I know on the on the Whittle side. There's three or four of them we could go and try, so we'll wait and see. Any road, without further ado, folks, I'll let you go. I'll put this video up, even though there's no fish in it, just to show you the mark, really, more than anything else. It's a nice, comfortable place to fish. Nobody bothers you. You go there, you, you set up, you fish away, and you come home. As long as you take your rubbish with you, and I can't see anything being said. Saying that, we fished a carry bag, a bin bag full. Not a carry bag, a bin bag full of rubbish from there today. That people have left there, you know. People have been fishing, obviously, because it was fishing packets and everything. We moved it, put it back. And I've just in my bin at home here. So that's gone. But uh, listen, folks, when we go fishing, right, we're under scrutiny any you know, from the public. My advice to you lot is take a bin bag with you. It's five minutes to pick your rubbish up, chuck it in a bin bag, and just chuck it in your bin when you get home. It's, it's no hard work. In fact, the stuff you took with you is going to be a lot lighter because it's empty coming home. That's my advice. Any road, I'll let you go. Speak to you soon. Be another trip coming up shortly, again on the Mersey, and hopefully we'll have a cod or two. If not, no big drama. Speak to you soon, folks. By the way, before you go, 
If you'd like this channel and you want to follow it, then hit the subscribe button, please. It means the world to me if you do that. And there's also a little bell there. If you hit the bell, it'll tell you when I'm uploading a video. Anyway, speak to you soon, folks. So that for now.